How is it going, you guys? AZ Player 21 here, back with more of our athletic director mode with New Mexico State. Got a good thing going. We are on 95 total points last time that I saw you guys. Let me go ahead and bring this up, actually. Uh, next, last time that I saw you guys, we had the winter season where we got 20 total points. Women Swim and Dive made it to the regionals. Um, they got us two points, and they also had a good recruiting period. They got a side removed, which is good because they're back to essentially square one. Basketball had a really, really, really good season. Uh, we won the WAC tournament, which was awesome. We went 22 and 10, 12 and 4 in conference. We had ourselves a very, very good year. Beat New Mexico. Uh, got to the, you know, to the tourney. Lost in the first round, I believe, to Pittsburgh. Um, we won our conference, though. That's awesome. We were first in conference recruiting, and we were ninth. We were number nine in national recruiting, which is insane for a team from the WAC um, for a total of 18 points. Love to see that. Love to see that. Um, we have the dice rolls for spring, and then we also have uh, NCAA 07 uh, MVP baseball coming your way. Uh, again, we have a total of 95 points. So should we get five points in this season, we will have enough points to buy a second die. And buying that second die would essentially mean that we have another chance to do really, really good uh, with these teams and essentially get more points, maybe purchase, you know, new athletic programs and so on and so forth. Um, let me know what you guys think about the project, about this uh, little athletic director mode that I've got going on. I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep doing it. I feel like once I get this second die and once I maybe start adding a couple of different programs, I feel like once I've added a couple different programs, there should be like a point total that I need to get to before I can say that I've won the game, quote unquote. Um, I think it would be really cool though to see, you know, a game like this actually developed like as a board game. I think that would be very interesting at the very least. Uh, it'd probably take a lot of money and, you know, be very complicated. Uh, I'm not sure how many people would want to play a game such as this, but um, either way, you guys uh, appreciate you for watching me, whether you're watching me live on Twitch or whether you watch it on YouTube. Let's get into it. Let's roll some dice. Uh, we start off with the spring season with men and women's golf. Um, so let's go ahead and go over to men and women's golf. Um, let's see. How did they do last year? So women's golf, we're adding a side. So let's do men's golf first. 13 sided die. We need to roll a one out of 13. That's uh, pretty straightforward. Yep. Man, golf is really hard to kind of advance out of, isn't it? That's tough. But again, if we had two dies, it would make it a little bit less difficult to actually achieve. Um, so we have ourselves a 13-sided die for the... Wow, okay. I say that it's difficult. We roll a one. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so yeah, we. Oh no, not this, not the, not this one, not this one. Beautiful. Um, we rolled a one, so we win our conference. That's insane. So we just won our conference, uh, our conference tournament, our conference invitational, I guess you can say. Love to see that. So individual conference. Let's see if uh, we have an individual who is going to be joining the team and they get a four. So that's going to be a no on that one. Uh, but the team does make it. So now we go on to regionals. At large, need to roll a one from a 30-sided die. No, thank you. Um, regional, need to roll one through five out of a 13-sided die to make it to nationals. That is not that bad. That is not that bad. individual nationals okay gotcha um need to roll a one through five out of a 13 sided die so we just need to roll a one through five and we're going to nationals and we roll a 10 okay gotcha uh let's check uh individual at the regionals see if anybody does anything good there what need to roll a one let's see they get an 11 so no individuals going to nationals uh, at large bid perhaps need to roll a one from a 30 sided die i think that was for regionals though i don't believe that counts here so i think we're good so men is done 
Offseason recruiting, let's roll that six-sided die. And we get ourselves a four, so nothing happens. But we did win our conference invitational, so let's see what exactly we get from that. And the conference title or regional bull berth, that's two points. Beautiful. So we earn a nice two points from men's golf as we move on to women's golf, who we are adding a, a side to. So we are now rolling a 14-sided die. We need to roll a one, and we get a 12. So nothing there. Let's see if there's anything individually. 1 through 14, the 13, so nothing cooking there. And so essentially, uh, let's check the at-large, right? At-large. Um, need to roll a 1 from a 30-sided die. And we do not get a 29, so nothing there. No nationals. And now we go straight into recruiting. Doing our 6-sided die to see how we do. We get a 2. So they will stay. They will stay with 14. And a point total of zero for women's golf. All right. So now we have women's outdoor track and field. Team conference and individual conference. Need to roll a one through three out of a 13 sided die. And we get a five. That's a no-go for the team. And then for the individuals, need to roll a 1 through 2 out of 13. And we get a 5 once again. So nobody's going to regionals. Um, at large bid, need to roll 1 from a 30-sided die. And we get a 23. So nobody's going to regionals, it would appear. Nobody at all. And so it looks like we are done. We are done. We go straight on to off-season recruiting. Where we roll ourselves a six-sided die to see how they do. They get a four, so nothing happens. Beautiful. And a point total of zero for women's outdoor track and field. Um, yeah, women's outdoor track and field. And then we have softball and men's tennis left to go. Uh, let's do softball first. Winning record, let's see if they achieve a winning record. We're rolling a 12-sided die. We need to roll a 1 through 5. And we get a 10. So not a winning record, unfortunately. Um, and so that means... We need to roll a 1 out of that 12-sided die. We need to roll a 1 to win the conference. And we roll an 11. So no go there. So that means no regionals, no at-large bid, no nationals. So we are done with women's softball now. Uh, after I believe they, no, they did not do anything. And they, oh, I just now realized that we were supposed to have added a side, but they did not really do anything. So it does not matter all that much. With that said, um, let's see if their recruiting is any better this year. Let's go to the six-sided die and they get a three. So... That means nothing. And it's now a 13-sided die still uh, for a point total of zero. So not even a winning record for women's softball as we go to men's tennis for Lass, uh, who also need a winning record. I did not realize that was the case, um, but let's do that. I need to roll a one through five out of that 12-sided die. Did they have... A side added they did not beautiful all right so 12 sided die one through five we get a three love to see that so they achieved a winning record this year men's tennis love that uh we go to the conference tournament uh need to roll a one through three out of a 12 sided die a one through three out of the 12 sided die we get a five that is a no-go um, individual conference tournament, one out of 13, straight to nationals. Straight to nationals. So let's see if we can roll a one out of 13. They get a seven. So nothing doing there. 
at large bid. We rolled a two through five, so we need to roll a one through three out of a 30 sided die. Boop. One through three. No, we get a 12. All right. So nobody's going to nationals. Um, they did get a winning record though, which is nice. Um, off season recruiting. Yep, same thing. Roll a six sided die. And we get a two, so nothing doing. All right. But they did get a winning record, so let's see what that does for us. Winning season, no regional bowl, one point. All right. So there it is, one point. Uh, so three points from our dice rolls will bring us to a total now of 98 points, which means if we can get two points from baseball this season, that means we will have enough to get that, that second die. And that second die is going to be very, very crucial to the possible success of these programs. Get more points, add more programs with that, get more points, get more dies, you know, just, uh, you know, improve our probability of doing well, essentially. All right. Well, I'll be right back with uh, MVP Baseball 07. And uh, yeah, just stick, stick, up, stick tight. All right, <clears throat> back at it once again with my boy, Jared Weaver. And again, these, um, these seasons go by a lot quicker than I thought they would. I think that's just because MVP Baseball 05 is incredibly, incredibly slow um, as far as you know, simulating the seasons and whatnot, but that's because they have single A, double A, triple A simulating all that shit. So that could be the reason for that. All right, here we go. Conference standing seventh, national rank 138. You can see we have D plus, D plus in a couple of categories, but we're definitely getting up there. Um, Preseason of 2009, so we are in year number three. Yep, definitely gonna have to do a lot better. Beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here at our depth chart. So over, we got Conurco Senior, a couple of sophomores in, in left field, center fielder, junior fields. 314 batting average over across his career. Uh, Jay Hicks, 78 overall. Jorge, 77 overall. Let's see. We got uh, D. Lott, 80 overall catcher. Love that. Starting pitching, not very good. We got Musculus, 91 overall senior. Love that. Relief pitchers leave a lot to be desired. Really, our entire infield and team leave a lot to be desired. The best player overall on the team is Musculus by far. And then we have a good catcher in D. Lott um you can see there did not play all that much last year um i'd imagine it's because we had a pretty good catcher but we got a good three seasons with lot last season with musculus so we really need to take advantage of that um the only thing that i really see that we desperately need is maybe another outfielder a first baseman for sure pitching we have a lot of pitching maybe a relief pitcher maybe um, but definitely, definitely a first baseman. And definitely a good relief pitcher, I believe. And if we can get a good um, starting pitcher as well, that could be a little bit of a bonus. Um, who, who's the worst? Honestly, if we can get a good left fielder, first baseman, and relief pitcher, I feel like we'd be okay. So left fielder, first baseman, relief pitcher. That's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm aiming for. And surely we, you know, redshirted a couple of guys as well. Let's see. Do they have a preseason All-American? They do not. 
Let's see. Who are we starting out against? We got Texas Tech. We got Cal Poly, ranked 54. UConn, UNLV, uh, Western Carolina, Santa Clara. I see FIU. I see Elon, ranked number one. That's crazy. Bucknell, Northwestern. We got Sacramento State. Uh, of course, Nevada, Louisiana Tech, Fresno State, Sacramento State, Nevada, Hawaii, San Jose State again. All right. So let's get to it. Let's see uh, what we're recruiting. Once again, we're looking for a left fielder, first baseman, and a relief pitcher. Anybody interested? No, not just yet. Top 100. Um, I see no first baseman, unfortunately, but I see this uh, starting pitcher slash outfielder that I really kind of want. Should really just be going after these top guys and then get a get a first baseman after the fact. Really, that's what I should do. Matt Necro. Let's do that. Let's go after uh ballard necro and then get a first baseman after the fact the only thing is he has draft buzz and so does necro Ugh, this is what this is what makes it tough because these guys could easily get drafted and then just not sign with me and then it's like uh sorry you know um reagan elliott <sighs> see this sucks this sucks yeah none of them are first baseman gene hazlitt starting pitcher outfielder yeah let's do let's do uh let's do reagan hazlitt and then a first baseman because i don't want to risk the draft buzz stuff killing us We would very much so easily stick him in outfield. All the prospects. Where my first baseman at? That's not a great list. We got Mike Sarver. Attitude average, academic good. Ah. Uh, I like this kid. All right. There we go. So we got our three guys that we are going after. We got our three guys that we're going after. And I believe those are the only three we're going to go after. And we're just going to go after them hard. So... Um, with that said, let's go ahead and get to, yeah, let's get to this day. See how bad our team does. Mm. Starting 0-3, not ideal. Starting 0-4, less ideal. 0-5, definitely not ideal. Ouch! Oh and six. Love that. I mean, our conditioning is perfect. Our conditioning is perfectly fine. All right. Uh, send, send coach to scouts. Recruit visit school. Dean Hazlitt. Um, let's get the tape and let's send the coach to scouts.
All right, let's get through a good chunk of this season. Yikes, we are not doing well at all, New Mexico State. Level three bat challenge. Man, 0 and 10. A good chance we get fired this year, and that would not be ideal. That would not be ideal at all. All right, let's start winning some games here, boys, huh? Okay, let's beat the national champions twice, you know. That's cool. Congrats on successfully completing the challenge. I mean, awesome. Got the level three bats. Love to see it. All right, several... Several apparel companies want to outfit our team. Ranked number 143. All right, we're getting there with some of these guys. Crew visit school and phone call. His power rating is supposed to go significantly up, as is basically everything else, except for fielding for some reason. He's supposed to get worse. Okay. Our points have been assigned. We need to get them at the very least halfway interested in us, I believe, in order for them to consider signing with us. I just want to make it a thousand percent sure and clear. Seven and 14. Seven and 15. Losing to Northwestern. And losing to Northwestern. Okay. Okay. Not mean to do that. That's okay. All right. So Justin Wells, we should be good on. So we have our first baseman. That's great. Um, let's go in on the rest of these fellers. All right. Make it a little bit easier there. All right. And then let's see if uh, any of these guys, let's see if we can't make a little late break for, for one of these guys, you know? Just do that and then save the rest of those points. Auto fix that. <sighs> oh man, winning some rivalry games against Nevada, winning some whack games. You love to see it. Check out the so-called standings. Four and two in the conference. We're second in the conference. Hilariously enough. Yeah, no team in the whack is good, necessarily. Which makes me feel a little bit better. A little bit better.
top 25. Got Oregon State, Boston State, Georgia, Cal State, Fullerton, Stanford, Lehigh, South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, NC State, Oklahoma, Southern Miss, Arizona State, Missouri, UAB, Northwestern, Oklahoma State, Seton Hall, Tulane, Baylor, Arkansas, Wake Forest, Navy, Kansas, Temple. Wow, okay, so we're killing it. We're killing it on the uh, sponsor challenges. Okay. Feel like we do that and let it be go for it another two weeks we're winning some whack games here 12 and 18 13 and 18 if we can get to 500 I'd say that's a pretty good season. Someone just got suspended. <laughs> Beating Fresno State, I'll take that. 14 and 19. Beating them again. 16 and 19. Let's go, boys. All right. We're on a little bit of a hot streak here. About 480 points. I want to make sure that I get Reagan Elliott. So we're going to send the big dog. Send him a cheeky little email. Again, not the end of the world if we don't get Ballard. I feel like it'll stop us when it's the last uh, week to recruit. If we get to 500, that's a successful season in my eyes. Especially considering we're going to be like one of the top teams in the WAC. I'd be very, very happy with that. Okay, Hawaii. Little 23-17 and 17 record. We are now 500. We are now under 500. Still with a chance to go to 500. We are first in the conference, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so it looks like that guy did get drafted because I cannot see him at all. The rest of the boys, it does look like we are going to get... Pretty sure that that week is going to be the last week we have for recruiting. Definitely not going 500, by the way. Final week to recruits. Four hundred and twenty points. No. All right. And let's see. Any other interested prospects? It does not appear so.
Just see if we can get this guy last minute. You never know. 20 and 24, we cannot go 500. And we are now second in the conference. I'll take 23 and 24. That is not that bad. Second in the conference, we'll take that. I, and we don't, I imagine we don't go to a regional. There's no tournament. Um, so it sucks that we kind of lost it there at the end. It's Hawaii. Man, by half a game. If we had won one more game, we'd be going at the very least to a regional, but it seems as though Hawaii probably deserves it anyways. All right. We get better and we move on to next year is uh, what it seems like. Yeah. Because there is no whack tournament. I'm going to say New Mexico State has not made it. Going to be like, no. D minus for conditioning, though. I like that. Your Aggies have failed to qualify. Oh, bother. So let me just quickly. Twenty three and twenty four, I feel like is a very, very good year. And then we went sixteen and eighteen in the conference. Award watch. Uh, yeah, let's see if any of my boys made it. Nope. Second team. Nope. Third team. Nope. America all offensive team. Nothing there. Gold glove team. Nothing there. All conference team. So we got Musculus. 342. Only six homers. Wow. Okay. Oh, shit. We got Musculus. Oh, wow. Got a couple a couple guys. We got T. Ift. That's my boy T. Ift. Went five and two. 253 ERA. Love to see that as a freshman. Uh, Lamasters as a freshman. 57 innings pitched. This boy has 69 innings pitched. 5 and 4, 274 ERA. All right. Second team. Nobody there. Third team. Got P. Clark. 285 as a sophomore. Uh, B. Jorge. 282, seven homers. And then Wise as a brief, eh, not the best pitcher, admittedly. So that's, uh, let's see. I'm only going to count the first two. So we got one, we got two, three. So we got three. Three all conference players. Okay. All conference freshman team. All right, cool. Those freshmen made it. Baseball America freshman All American team. Anybody? Nope. Nope. Really? Even our pitchers didn't make it. That's tough. Baseball America freshman of the year. South Alabama's T. Bartek added 359. Roger Clemens Award goes to the senior J. Wells. Conference player of the year. Damn. Nobody on the team was even close. Offensive player of the year. Most outstanding player goes to pitcher J. Wells. He was a very good pitcher. 
and Skeleton from Southern Alabama is killing it as well. Conference pitcher of the year. Ift was very close. But Macias was very good. Okay. Good to know. So let's see who wins this thing. And we'll finish up the offseason on what I consider to be a very successful season. 23 and 24. Nothing to be ashamed of, in my opinion. Nothing to be ashamed of. Let's see who wins this whole thing. It's always some random team, too. Like, there's no powerhouses in this game. Like, it's very random, the teams that win. Like, it's never like Virginia. Okay, that makes sense. Cal State Fullerton wins. They go 6-2 and two in the College World Series and 41-21 and 21 record over the season. Love to see it. Love me some Cal State Fullerton. T. Billick wins the Deezing Senior Award. All right. And Fordham. See, that's the funny... That's the funny part, is Fordham being in that part. So you got Cal State Fullerton, Temple, Seton Hall, Southern Miss, Boston College, Fordham, ASU, which is pretty cool, and then Creighton. That part is random. Cal State Fullerton winning? Not so much. All right. So, ooh, why do you tran- why are you tran- I mean, you were pretty shit, honestly. So I do not mind that. Goodbye, Zagurski. He was on a .7 scholarship as well, which is pretty sweet. Anerko was on a .7 scholarship. Musculus was on a .8 scholarship. Player progression. Love that. He goes up. Zimmer goes down a touch. Everyone goes up, it would seem, except for Victor Rodriguez. Yeah, most, most of these players are... Trainer. Hold up. Change it to change a secondary position. Ooh, change a secondary position. Yeah, do, do first baseman. Do first baseman. Okay, cool. Hey, look at that. Oh, did we not? Justin Wells was apparently way terrible. Way more terrible than I thought he was going to be. Wow, okay. He went way, way down. That's our starting first baseman, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes. Very excited about Reagan and Hazlitt, though. Scholarships full. Playing time second year starter. Making that promise. Beautiful. Hazlitt only wants 40% and a first year starter. We will give you that, sir. Alright. 50% scholarship, fourth year starter. We'll give him that. Okay. Beautiful. Thirty players. On the nose. All right. Current coach is fine. Current pitching coach is fine. Fielding coach is fine. Trainer is fine. All right. This all looks good. 
Okay. So here we are back again. Let's see if we want to redshirt anybody. Like TJ McGuire. So I must have redshirted him last year. I believe it was Sneed, yep, who was the walk-on, so we shall redshirt him. Rasta as a walk-on. We can redshirt him. Being honest, as to what I'm going to want to do for next year. So 13 pitchers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I feel like Kenny and then two starting pitchers, probably. But Kenny, Kenny Henson and Donaldson, I think. Kennedy, Henson, and Donaldson. Okay, so there we go. 
Um, let's take a quick look, see what we need for next year. Cause I feel like pitching we're fine. Pitching we're fine for quite a while. Maybe another relief pitcher. Maybe a better first baseman. So relief pitcher, first baseman. Reliever, first baseman, and maybe two outfielders. That's what I think for next time. Let's, let's go ahead and save this one up. We're just about done with this. I, I feel like we might have hit that uh, 100 points. We shall see. All right. Beautiful. All right. I'll be right back with the uh, spreadsheet. Okay. How's it going, Falcons? Hope you're having a great day. Let's go ahead and tally up these totals. So we went 23 and 24 is our total record, which in my opinion is a successful season. Nearly went 500. Second in the conference. Conference record was 16 and 18. I did not realize that that was our conference record. <laughs> it makes it seem so bad, honestly. I did not realize that was our conference record. Okay. Or was it 16 and 8? Yes, it was 16 and 18. Um, we didn't calculate any of this stuff. Tournament result, no. Conference result was second. All conference players, we had three. No All-American players, no awards. We did not play New Mexico. We can't calculate how recruiting goes. So, with that, um, no winning season. But we had three All-Conference players. So that does give us a total of three points for this season. Which gets us to exactly 101 points. So with that, we are officially going to purchase a second die. And essentially what that means is that here, we're just doing this. So we're just doing this. So essentially, every time we roll a dice from now on, we will have two chances at whatever that result is which gives us double the odds of you know having ourselves a good season a winning season winning a game losing a game which i'm very very excited about um so we're going to go ahead and um add in another little i should put this in the next year honestly current points and then down here one points 101. boom there we go ladies and gentlemen so that is going to do it for year number three of new mexico state in our athletic director mode let's go ahead and quickly recap it fall season men's cross country got us two points by winning their conference meet did not advance from regionals women's volleyball had a winning record but did not win their conference tournament Football went four and eight, not a very good season. Conference record of three and six in the Sun Belt. Um, couple all conference players, couple all American players, probably on the freshman team. I believe our freshman quarterback is very good. Lost to New Mexico, but first in the conference in recruiting and number 10 in the nation in recruiting, which is insane. Uh, gets us to 13 points for the football season. Love that. Uh, winter season on the dice rolls, we only had one team that got us points, which was Women Swim and Dive advancing from their conference meet uh, basketball we went 22 and 10 12 and 4 in the conference uh won our conference tournament made it to the national tourney lost in the first round of pittsburgh one all-conference player 
one award, beat New Mexico, first in conference in recruiting, ninth in the nation in basketball. In basketball, New Mexico State, ninth in the nation. And this isn't, you know, NCAA 14 where you can kind of game it. Like, recruiting in, in, in college hoops is a little bit difficult. So I'm very happy that we were able to get ninth in the nation in recruiting. 18 total points from basketball. And then, other than that, in the spring, we had a couple of uh, dice roll programs get us some points. Men's golf, uh, winning their conference invitational, did not advance from the regional tournament, though, to get us two points. Men's tennis, winning record, did not win their conference tournaments. And then baseball, as we just saw, nearly a 500 season. Couple all-conference players gets us three points. Really appreciate you guys, whether you're watching on Twitch or whether you watch it on demand on YouTube. I'm AZPlyo21. I will see you guys in year number four of our New Mexico State Athletic Director Mode. You guys take care.